Is this going to be the best bourbon of 2024? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today is a video that I cannot wait. We finally got our first bourbon that we have wanted to acquire for 2024, and it literally only took a couple of weeks. Thanks to a very, very loyal subscriber and Patreon, Salty Lettuce. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming through and letting me know that you could acquire this bottle for me, which is the Bardstown High Rye Single barrel barrel proof bourbon that's right this is bardstown's own distillate coming out from their origin series this is the exact same stuff that this bottle right here is just barrel proof and you guys remember how much i enjoyed this bottle right here when it was released it was really really good this right here is a high rye six year old bourbon. It's coming in at 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. It is the exact same mash bill as this bad boy right here. And man, oh man, I just cannot wait. This is the Eastern Tennessee Select number one out of Rickhouse B, floor five, coming out at 123.6 proof. So anybody that is in the Jersey area, I just need to let you know this right Right now i did not buy this bottle in new jersey i'm not quite sure how readily available these single barrels are but i can imagine that they're going to be more available uh, later on in the year so we're going to review this first one we're going to see how these single barrels uh stack up against other offerings of single barrel bourbons and stuff like that because if this is a great bottle this could very well come up and and dethrone like stag juniors and stuff like that and uh well we haven't even cracked this bad boy open so let's go ahead and do that this bottle was a little bit more on the expensive side i believe these bottles are coming out at like 90 dollars um but hey it's i love the bardstown juice as you can see i've gotten all three of their origin series and this one took me a while to get but doc over at old-fashioned ways came through got me this bottle right here and uh without further ado let's go ahead and give this bad boy a nice little pour we're gonna let this breathe for a couple of minutes so i will see you guys in a little all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I cannot wait to dive into this glass. Oh, my God. If you guys are excited for this, I'm more excited for this bottle than I am for almost a lot of other things that are coming out this year. Make sure you drop that like. Let me know down in the comments below if you're excited for this bottle as well to possibly get your hands on a Bardstown single barrel barrel proof bottle. And if you're brand new, smash that subscribe button so you never miss a review or any blind or any tier list or whatever ranking video I do make sure you smash that subscribe button and we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and that 10,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be gigantic but without further ado i've talked enough i cannot wait to get into this nose of this bad boy right here so here we go okay i'm getting a vanilla vanilla punch and it is dusted with a very very nice cinnamon it almost has a little bit of like a coffee crumb cakiness to it as well. And there is a fruit aspect that comes through and just like punches you in the face. And I can only imagine that this being the exact same thing as this is pretty much, except being a blend, it's a single barrel. It's there too, it really is. But it's not as punchy because it's a single barrel and it's barrel proof and barrel proof you're going to get that punch to the face and that's what this right here gives you is a very very nice delicious punch to the face that vanilla coffee cake it's like you had a coffee cake right and you got that like uh what is, it's like a sugar crumble dark or a dark brown sugar crumble on top and then you drizzled it with just a little bit of vanilla icing that's what you're getting here Oh my god, that is a terrific, terrific nose. And I, this being supposedly the same exact age range as like E.H. Taylor and um, 
your stag juniors in that in that six to eight year range and this hopefully being a little bit more readily available for a lot more folks out there this this nose can hang with those big boys out there and uh i can't wait to get in the palette so cheers to you all Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Everything that you get on that nose comes forth on the palate. And it is just an overwhelmingly just like sweet experience that just grabs your tongue, tickles it a little bit, gives it a little bit of fun while it's going down. And the finish is still going. Holy bajoli. That finish is so long and so sweet. There's not a single bitter aspect that is coming through on this bottle of bourbon right here that ah, it's an experience and I am all for this experience. It being a high rye, I'm expecting a little bit more of that rye spice, that rye forward kick to the face, little spicy notes coming through on it, but it's decadent, it's rich, and, it's, and it, it just gives you this velvety mouthfeel that just lingers on your tongue. You get a little bit of a Kentucky hug going down your throat, but it's nothing that is comparative to what this proof is as a, at 123.6 proof. And you get a sweet cinnamon. You're getting that coffee cake with that crumble on top and that really nice drizzle of vanilla. But more along the nose of what you weren't getting on the nose that you're getting on that palate is a nice soft dusting, a sprinkle of cinnamon on top that just really, really well, makes this a very well balanced and a very fun experience to drink. Whereas you you didn't get the 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 flavor punch out of the just regular was it 96 proof yeah 96 proof and it's a great bottle for what it is but i think for double the price you're getting double the flavor out of this single barrel right here and i'm excited to see if they come out with like single barrel barrel proof rise and single barrel barrel proof of their wheated bourbon because this was the first one I believe I got out of the um, the Bardstown Origin series, and then we were able to acquire the Weeded, and then we got this one. So we'll see if the same exact um, lineup comes through um, here in this year. I don't know. We'll find out. But man, oh man, I will tell you right now, that is a really, really good, great, fantastic sip. Sip number three, you are getting the same exact experience as you get at, at sip number one. It's just so darn good. It is so, so good. It, it drinks below its proof. It's packed full of flavor. And it is something that, you know, it's not something you're going to go to every single day. But if you could, I think you would. Because it is fantastic. Barstown is starting to come away with coming out with some of my favorite expressions. I love the Origins. I, I love a lot of the Disco series. Um, I've had samples of a lot of their other um, like collaboration bottles, and those are absolutely delicious. And I am so happy that they're able to come out with their own distillate, aged a significant amount, coming out with something that's over four years. You know, you're getting a six year bottle of bourbon coming out at barrel proof and something that can hold up to those other big name brand bourbons out there. And it is something that everybody should try and add to their bourbon collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was an absolute fun one. And I can't, I, I love smelling this glass right here. It is packed full of those vanillas. A touch of that caramel and that coffee cake comes through so, so strongly. 
If you like this one, drop a like. If you didn't, drop a dislike. Leave a comment down below, like I said, if you can't wait to add this bottle to your collection in your bar. And if you're brand new, smash that subscribe button. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.